What's up everybody, Dimitris Kiatas here from Sunfrog. Uh, welcome to this first video I'm doing for you today. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics for your Sunfrog account and because we know that majority of you are running Facebook ad traffic and we know that the Facebook reporting sometimes isn't reporting that well so you don't really know if you want to uh, scale, uh, scale up that campaign, kill the campaign or scale out. So Google Analytics are 100% uh, free tool. It's going to be, it is integrated uh, with your Sunfrog account. So today I'm going to show you how to install, set up Google Analytics for your store and how, what is the process that I personally use in order to tag and track the Facebook ads. So let's say that this is one of the t-shirts that we want uh, to run traffic to. You see that right here, I have also attached uh, my, my affiliate ID. So what do we need to do is you need to go to the Sunfrog Manager, we need to go into Traffic, and we need to go into Google Analytics. So here you won't have a UA as I'm having right now because I have already uh, set up and I'm running some test traffic. So what do you need to do is you need to go into analytics.google.com. I have some other accounts here, so you, need, you just need to follow the process. Here I will take you from the step that if you have some other accounts as well, you need to go to create new account. Uh, you will give your campaign, your account a name. So Sunfrog, website name the same. HTTP www.sunfrog.com Industry category doesn't really matter. So I always choose like other or shopping. Reporting time is zone um, based in Greece. Oh, I will choose Greece, and then when you get the tracking ID, the next step is to agree on the terms of services of Google. I won't do that because I have already set up the account. So it will take you directly to right here to the tracking code. So what do you need to do is you need to control uh, C or command C if you're on a Mac, this UA, and you need to go into Soundfrog and insert it in right here and click on save. So, if you want to tag and track your Facebook that specific ad, for example, there are two ways that I usually do it. The first one is by using this Google Analytics URL builder, which is a Chrome extension. So what you need to do is you need to click on it. So you see here that this is our URL to share. I don't know why it's looking like that, but here, uh, let's bring that in. Maybe it will help a little bit. No, it didn't help anyway. So sunfrog.com, you see, and here's my affiliate ID. So source is always gonna be Facebook. Not with capital letters, not FB, not FB.com, not FB.com. We need to keep it exactly li like this because we need to have everything congruent. It really makes sense. Here it says medium. The medium is always gonna be CPC. Not VP, not LLA, not CDW, no interest, no whatever that you need to do. So if you're running paid traffic, it will always need to be source, Facebook, medium, CPC. On a content level, I will skip the term. I'm really sorry that it doesn't show really that well. So here it says term, here it says content, and here it says campaign. So in the content, I will write, I will use all the information I use as I use on my ad set level. So if I'm targeting, for example, female, 25 to 34, my ad is mobile, it's a PPE ad, and the, the interest is, for example, I love Beagles. And let's say that the uh, campaign, it's um, Sunfrog, PPE, uh, Beagle, Beagle Christmas T-shirt. Okay, if you click on copyright here, and you open up in a new tab and you paste. You see that right here, here I have sunfrog.com, I have my affiliate ID. So my source is Facebook, medium is CPC, the content, so what, what I have on an outside level is female 25 through four, blah, 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 blah. And my campaign is sunfrog, sunfrof, PP, big old Christmas t-shirts. So if I paste that, and I go back into Google Analytics, if I go into my Google Analytics and I go here into reporting, what I need to do is I need to click on acquisition campaigns 
all campaigns. And because I run some test traffic, you will see here that I have all my campaigns. So for example, if I click on this, I run another with a big potato. I think I run this. Ah, here it is. Big Christmas shirt. Okay. And secondary dimension, if you type in add content, here you see that the female 2565 mobile, I did a test. Uh, I sent 32, uh, 32 clicks. I had like 5.81 pages per session, average session duration, but I wasn't really likely to make any, any conversion. But here is the actual process to see how each uh, ad content is performing the best. And when you have your Facebook ads reporting open, you will actually see what is the cost because you cannot insert um, the cost into uh, Google Analytics. At least there is a more advanced process uh, to do so. But here you will get the ability to see how much you spend, what is your, uh, how much you spend on Facebook ads, and here what is your conversion rate, transaction, and revenue when you really want to scale. And you can create as many ad sets as you want, as many ad content. I know that it's time consuming, so this is why I created a Google Sheet in order to help you. So I'm going to share with you that URL tagging. Uh, sheet. So what I'm doing right here is I'm going to use the exactly. So let me choose it. So destination URL. You see that right here in the column F, F. What I have right here, it gets automatically inserted because you see here there is a formula. Don't mess with the formula, please. So here, destination URL, your actual destination URL. Source, we said always Facebook. Medium, always CPC. And CC here, source Facebook, medium CPC. Content, female 2534, mobile PPE, I love Beagles. And Beagle Christmas shirt. Okay, now if you want to do it much, much quicker and you want to split test, for example, by age, here's what you can do. Control C or Command C, paste, paste, and let's say that here is the 35 to 44. Here, let's say that it is the 45 to 54. Boom, boom, boom. And here, if you're going to click on this one, you're ready to use female 45 to 54. Let's say that, for example, right now that you want to target male. Same ages, same thing, but only male. You can go, copy, paste, mail, mail, mail. And you can take the tag URL and you're ready to use it. So here, if I paste that, you will see Sunfrog, paid Christmas, the campaign is big Christmas shirt, a really long URL, 4 to 5 to 54, mobile BP, I love Beagles, the content, medium CPC, the source is Facebook. So you can actually know what is the traffic, where does your traffic com comes from, and you know how the reporting is working the best for you. Now, last thing before <coughs> I close this small video, most of you are sending, you have, for example, one campaign, eight ad sets, but all eight ad sets are pointing only into one uh, specific ad because you want it for uh, the social interaction and gathers all the comments, the likes and share. So here you have to take a decision. You can either go build one campaign, eight ad sets that all eight ad sets build into only one tagged campaign. So here you can't really use all of them separately. So you, you will have only to pick one. So you won't really know how the tracking is working. I'm telling you because most of the people that I work with tell me that this is their biggest problem and I'm sorry, out to this day there is no uh, solution on this one. Or you will either get to do it the right time, the right, uh, with the right process, going with one ad set, eight, uh, one campaign, I'm sorry, eight ad set, eight different ads. And when you see what is the interest that is really picking up, then you can redirect all the traffic to that ad. Hope that, helpful, uh, hope that is really helpful for you. Stay tuned for more. See you.